Hi, let's take a look at some more reflectance shaders. Let's go look in the reflectance shader library. Let's go look at the Chrome 2D reflectance shader. Let's see what we can change. This is the luminescence setting, which affects how bright it looks. Diffuse setting for the coloring, as you can see. And the shininess for the shininess, and the specularity for specular highlights. Now, what the Chrome F function over here does it affects how visible this false reflection is. Because we're using the Chrome 2D shader to generate fake reflections. And it looks kind of like a highly metallic surface, like Chrome, without the need for ray tracing. So you can speed up your renders if you want to do it like that. So by increasing the Chrome F value, basically make the reflection look brighter. By decreasing, make it look less bright. We need the seed variable over here as a seed value for the 2D function to variate the noise function a bit. So you can change this around. It doesn't do that much effect, but it does give a slight variation to your object. So let's apply it to our objects and see what it looks like. Let's apply that to that one. Let's change the luminescence slightly, diffuse the shyness and the specularity, and the chrome value for this one. Let's change the color as well. Then let's also go over here and let's change the value up, down, up. Apply that to that one. So render to see what it looks like. As you can see, it generates a metallic look for our object. This doesn't quite look that much like metal because it's colored right now. So let's maybe change it black to black and white. And the Ocus Mail looks a bit more like chrome. So let's apply it to our object over here. As you can see, it looks a bit more like metal this time. So let's say you actually wanted to have something that actually was actually reflecting stuff. What would you do? Well, let's go take a look at what shaders we can use. We can use the mirror shader over here. Let's see what parameters we can edit in this reflecting shader. There's a luminescence setting over here, which we've seen before. It affects how bright it is. And then diffuse setting. Then the shininess and specularity. And of course, over here with the reflection setting. Increasing it makes it reflect more. Decreasing it makes it not reflect at all. Let's apply to objects, see what that looks like. Apply no reflection to that one. Let's apply medium reflection to this one. And let's apply maximum reflection to the rear. Let's do a scene render. As you can see, the reflection actually looks real this time, because it is actually calculating the actual reflections in the scene. So let's say we want to do some mirror effects. Let's go look at the glass. And as you can see, we have some settings over here, shyness, specularity, reflection, and transmission. The transmission variable does affects how transparent the object looks. So increasing makes it more transparent, decreasing it makes it not transparent. The refraction controls how the light refracts through the object. Now, let's say you want to simulate the look of some material that you happen to know the transmission and the refraction index for. So what you do, you right-click on the bars over here, just right-click, and you pop up a new shader's attribute dialog. You actually enter in numerical values for transmission. So let's say we want it 0 0.8 for transmission. For refraction, say we want it, mm, let's say, 5. Let's try applying that to our objects and see what that looks like. Let's apply it to this one. Then let's change it slightly for that one over there. And then let's totally turn off transmission and refraction for the one in the back. Let's do a scene render. As you can see, it doesn't quite look like glass yet. We'll have to edit some more variables to do that. So let's go edit those. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go change the color back to white, because we want clear mirror. Then what we want to do is go over here, and then let's maybe decrease the reflection a bit, increase the transmission, and let's increase the refraction a bit. Let's apply it again to our object up front. And then let's do a scene render to see what that looks like. As you can see, it looks a bit more like glass now, but the scene is still a bit too confused for it, so it's generating these weird patterns of objects. So let's go ahead and delete the objects in the back and on the right, and then let's try rendering it again. Okay, here's the rendered product. As you can see, it's still a bit too confused. Let's reduce the refraction a bit. Let's see if we can clear up that glass a bit more. Let's increase the transmission slightly. Uh, let's decrease the reflection even more, and maybe increase the specularity a bit and decrease the shininess. Okay, let's apply it to our object. And let's do another full scene render. As you can see, our object looks a lot more like glass now. Fiddle a bit more of the refraction settings to see what you can come up with.